So that's the only part of the plan? Just the lines, the in interstate uh, well, competition? No, the, the nice part about the plan, you'll have many different plans. You'll have competition. You'll have so many different plans. But now he's I repeating think, himself. No, I'm not repeating. No, no, no. no. And repeat himself five times four weeks ago. And I, I saw you repeat you, yourself five times five meltdown. seconds ago. I watched him. <laughs>100 percent except pre-existing condition i would absolutely get rid of obamacare we're going to have something much better but pre-existing conditions when i'm referring to that and i was referring to that very strongly on the show with anderson cooper i want to keep pre-existing condition i think we need it i think it's a modern age and i think we have to have it okay so let's talk about pre-existing conditions what the insurance companies say is that the only way that they can cover people is to have a mandate requiring everybody purchase health insurance. Are they wrong? I think they're wrong 100%. What we need, look, the insurance companies take care of the politicians. The insurance companies get what they want. We should have gotten rid of the lines around each state so we can have real competition. We thought that was gone. We thought those lines were going to be gone, and something happened at the last moment where Obamacare got approved, and all of that was thrown out the window. The reason is some of the people in the audience are insurance people and insurance lobbyists and special interests. They got, I'm not going to point to these gentlemen, of course they're part of the problem, other than Ben, in all fairness. And actually, the governor, too. Let's just talk about these two, okay? Because <laughs> I, I don't think the governor had too much to do with this. But we should have gotten rid of the borders. We should have gotten rid of the lines around the state so there's great competition. The insurance companies are making a fortune on every single thing they do. I'm self-funding my campaign. I'm the only one in either Mr. party self-funding my campaign. I'm going to do what's right. We have to get rid of the lines around the states so that there's serious, serious competition. But Mr. And Trump you're going to see, excuse me, then you're going to see pre-existing conditions and everything else be part of it, but the price will be down and the insurance companies can pay. Right now, they're making a fortune. But just to be specific here. What you're saying is getting rid of the barriers between states, that is going to solve the problem? That's uh, going to solve a lot of the problem. And the insurance companies are going to say that. They want to keep it. They want to say, they say whatever they have to say to keep it the way it is. I know the insurance companies. They're friends of mine. The top guys, they're friends of mine. I shouldn't tell you guys. You'll say it's terrible. I have a conflict of interest. They're friends of mine. There's some right in the audience. One of them was just waving to me. He was laughing and smiling. He's not laughing so much anymore. Hi. But you know what? The insurance companies, the insurance companies are making an absolute fortune. Yes, they will keep pre-existing conditions, and that would be a great thing. Get rid of Obamacare. We'll come up with new plans, but we should keep pre-existing conditions. And I was mentioned in his response, so if I may, about the insurance companies. You may not be aware of this, Donald, because you don't follow this stuff very closely, but here's what happened. When they passed Obamacare... They put a bailout fund in Obamacare. All these lobbyists to keep talking about, they put a bailout fund in the law that would allow public money to be used, taxpayer money, to bail out companies when they lost money. And we led the effort and wiped out that bailout fund. The insurance companies are not in favor of me. They hate that. They're suing now to get that bailout money put back in. Here's what you didn't hear in that answer. And this is important, guys. This is an important thing. What is your plan? I understand the lines around the state, whatever that means. This is not a game where you draw maps around. And you around don't know what it What is your plan? The you what is your know. plan on health care? You the don't have a plan. The biggest well, what problem, what is, he I'll doesn't give know. One minute the the biggest problem he's plan. got is he What's doesn't know. You know, I watched him melt down two weeks ago with Chris Christie. I got to tell you, the biggest problem he's got is he really doesn't know about the lines. The biggest thing we've got, and the reason we have no competition, is it's because we have lines around the state, that, and you have you have that, essentially I know, We already mentioned that as part of my plan. Yeah, I know yeah. what that is. I, but what know, else is part of your you know plan? Much. So your only know. thing is to get rid of the lines around the states. What else is part of your health plan? What the lines around the states mean? That's your only plan. And it plan. was almost done. No, no. You know right, what that does? I'll that give brings him time in, to mind. He can tell us his plan. Excuse me. That What's brings in competition. When you get rid of the lines, it brings in competition. So instead of having one insurance company taking care of New York or Texas, you'll have many. They'll compete, and it'll be a beautiful thing.
Right. And the past that. So that's the only part of the plan? Just the lines, the in interstate oh, well, competition? No, the, the nice part about the plan, you have many different plans. You'll have competition. You'll have so many different plans. But now he's I repeating think, himself. No, Mr. I'm Trump. not repeating. No, no, no. Mr. repeat himself five times four weeks ago. And I, I saw want to you repeat you, yourself five times five meltdown. seconds ago. I watched him. <laughs> I watched him melt down on the stage like I've let's never seen anybody. Say, I thought he came out of the, the swimming pool. I said, well, let's talk, let's I talk see about him repeat himself plan. every night. It says five things. Everyone's dumb. Rubio, He's going to make America great Senator again. Rubio, We're going to win, win, win. Senator He's Rubio, winning in please. the polls. Please and the lines around the street. Every night. Same thing. We will have time to respond if you right. just let Mr. Trump respond to what yeah, you just posted. Yeah, he's going to give us his plan him. now, right? If okay. you if you could talk a little bit more about your plan, I know you talked about no, no, uh, we're going to have many different plans because there's going to be competition. Said it again. <laughs> there's going to be competition. There is going to be competition among all of the states and the insurance companies. They're going to have many, many different plans. Is there anything else you would like to add to that? No, part of your there's plan? nothing to add. What's to add? What is to add? Thank, thank you both. Talk about the economy. Look, does everyone get to address Obama, Obamacare but me? I want to move on, but there'll be plenty of opportunities for you to address. We, we, it, your, it's your, kind your of an issue. issue I have a long history with. I know you do it. And, all right, go ahead. Thank you. Bill. How do you, how do you get that extra time, Cruz? You're very good at. You know, this is another issue on which Donald and I have sharp disagreements. <laughs> Uh, on Planned Parenthood, he thinks Planned Parenthood is wonderful. I would instruct the Department of Justice to investigate them and prosecute any and all criminal violations. On Obamacare, both Donald and I say we want to end it, but for very different reasons. I want to end it because it goes too far, it's killed millions of jobs, and it's hurting people's health care. Donald wants to end it because he says it doesn't go nearly far enough. And what was amazing in that exchange that was missing is for decades Donald has been advocating socialized medicine. What he said is the government should pay for everyone's health care. And in fact, a couple of debates ago, he said, if you don't support socialized health care, you're heartless. Now, liberal Democrats have been saying that for years. Now, let me tell you, if you're a small business owner, Donald Trump's socialized medicine, putting the government in charge of your health care, would kill more jobs than Obamacare. And if you're elderly, the results of socialized medicine in every country on earth where it's been implemented has been rationing, has been the government saying, no, you don't get that hip replacement, you don't get that knee replacement. The government is in charge of your health care. I'll tell you this, as president, Senator, I will repeal every word thank you. of Obamacare. Thank you. Mr. Trump. I do not want socialized medicine, just so you understand. He goes around saying, oh, he wants it. I do not want socialized medicine. I do agree with him that it's going to be a disaster, Obamacare, for the economy. In 2017, it's going to be impossible for us to pay for it if you look at what's going on. That's why it has to be repealed, for a lot of reasons. Number one, it doesn't work. Number two, premiums, you look at premiums going up 25, 35, even 45 percent, and more. We have to get rid of Obamacare. It is going to destroy our economy completely. Our economy is not doing well. It is going to destroy our economy greatly. And on that, I agree. Donald, true or false, you've said the government should pay for everyone's health care. That's false. You've never That's said false. that. No, I never. I said it worked in a couple of countries, but, but, but I've never said But you've never stood it. on this debate stage and says it works no, great I in Canada not. and Scotland. No, we should do I it did here. Not. Did you no, say did if you want people to die on the streets, if you don't support socialized health care, you have Correct. no heart? I will did you not say let you're a liberal die on, on the streets if I'm president? Have if you people, said you're a liberal on health care? Excuse me. Let me talk. Talk away. Ex people, explain your plan, please. My plan is very simple. I will not. We're going to have private. We are going to have private health care. But I will not allow people to die on the sidewalks and the streets of our country if I'm president. You may let it, and you may be fine so with it. So does the government I'm pay for everyone's health care? We are going to take y yes those people no. and Just they're going to answer get... the question. Excuse me. We are going to take those people, and those people are going to be serviced by doctors and hospitals. And we're going to make great deals on it. 
but we're not going to let him die in the street. Who pays right. for it? Well, can I clarify something? Senator, gentlemen, well, gentlemen, no, please. No, I want to clarify something. Gentlemen, this please, I want to move on. Debate, right? I want to talk because about the economy. Because that attack about letting people die oh, in the streets so the government answer. doesn't support health care. Gentlemen, government would gentlemen, gentlemen all of you have agreed. using to answer that question. Call it what you Cruz. want. You know what? Call it what you want. It's a yes or no. Call it what you want. People are not going to be dying All of you have agreed. All of you have agreed to the rules. I want to move on. But I will not allow people to die on the sidewalks and the streets of our country if I'm president. You may let it, and you may be fine so with does it. So the government pay I'm for not fine with it. We are going to take y yes those people, no. and Just they're going to answer the question. Excuse me. We are going to take those people, and those people are going to be serviced by doctors and hospitals. And we're going to make great deals on it, but we're not going to let them die in the streets. Who right. pays for well, it? Can I control? clarify something? Senator, gentlemen, well, gentlemen, no, please. I want to clarify something. Gentlemen, this please, I want to move debate, on. Right? I want to talk because about the economy. Because that attack about letting people die oh, in the well, streets so the government answer. doesn't support health care. Gentlemen, government would gentlemen, gentlemen all of you. To the original question about the individual mandate. In 1994, when you were in Congress, you proposed a plan requiring an individual mandate. So what changed? Well, Dan, the Heritage Foundation had this position as well. Now, in regard to same-sex marriage, I don't favor it. I've always favored traditional marriage. Uh, but you look, the court has ruled, and I've moved on. Including the need to arm the Ukrainians. Including the need to arm the Ukrainians. In the meantime, we can't get a school built in Brooklyn. The need to arm the Ukrainians. The need to arm the Ukrainians. The need to arm the Ukrainians. I buy.